In this lesson, we're going to cover how to combine the switch function with the filter function in Microsoft Excel so that you can filter on different sets of data based on certain criteria. So in this example here, we have three branch tabs. You can see we have one for an east branch, one for the north branch, and a third for the west branch. And they all have the same basic loan detail type data sets on them and what we'd like to do is on this summary tab combine the switch function with the filter function so that based on whatever branch we select in this top drop box here it will filter on the correct branch tab and pull back the loan detail based on this second drop box where we have a filter criteria for different loan types. So the first thing I recommend doing is to name your ranges since we're dealing with multiple sets of data or multiple tabs here. We want to name our ranges it'll just make this easier. So I'm going to go to the East Branch tab. I'm going to select this data set I'll call this East. I also want to name our criteria column, which is the loan type column. So I'll call this East C for criteria. I've already named the same ranges for the other two branches. So if you ever need to see your named ranges, you can hit the keyboard shortcut Control F3 and you can see I have them all there for all three branches. So now we're going to begin with the switch function and what the switch function does is it looks at an expression or a lookup value and matches it against a list of possible match items that have corresponding actions and based on the first match the switch function finds it performs that corresponding action. So our lookup expression is going to be our first Dropbox selection here for each of the three branch tabs and the first match we want to stack it up against is the East branch and if our lookup item is equal to East branch then we want to filter on the East data set that we named and you can see I start typing it and it pops up there. So that is the first argument of our filter. Second argument is our criteria range that we also named, which is East C. And we want anything in that criteria range that is equal to our second Dropbox here for the loan type criteria. Now the final input for the filter function is the value of empty. If it's empty, I just want it to return nothing. So I'll put a double quote there. So now we get to our second possible switch match item. And we're gonna basically repeat what we just did for the East branch. So our second criteria is, or second match is the North branch. And if that matches our lookup criteria, then we want to do a filter on the north data set that we named. And we want anything in our north criteria loan type column that is equal to our loan type criteria in this drop box here. And I also need to put the value of empty, which is return nothing if nothing is found in that filter. So now we get to our last possible match with the switch function. The nice thing about the switch function is it has a default value if no previous matches are found. So since we know that the only last possible match is the west branch, that will serve as our default value. So there's no need to type a possible match since we know this is our last possible item. So all we need to do here is just say filter on the west range and anything in the west criteria column that is equal to 
our loan type selection in B6. So now you can see we currently have the East Branch in our criteria Dropbox here. If I switch that to the West Branch, it adjusts. If I change the filter criteria on the West Branch to business, it adjusts accordingly. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.